So, um, once again, I was on Twitter, seeing what was trending, and uh, seeing if there was any sort of videos that I could do based on what was trending. Put something out real quick. I saw David Cameron's name was trending, so I clicked to see what it was, and, well, here's my video. I guess you probably already know, if you've clicked on David Cameron, that um, he's accused of sticking his dick into the uh, mouth of a dead pig. At least I think it's his dick. The, the, the uh, wording everyone was using was, you know, part of his anatomy. It didn't say if it was, you know, the dick or his testicles or just both. Just jammed it right in there. <laughs> like, so Twitter, Twitter's just uh, going crazy on this. Um, and, of course, this accusation is coming from this uh, tell-all, unauthorized biography book that's being put out by some journalist and um, this guy called Lord Ashcroft, who is a uh, former ally of Cameron's. And the book explains it that he was in this, like, uh, crazy fraternity, and that was part of the initiation program. If you wanted to be in the fraternity, you had to show your worth and stick your dick into the mouth of a dead pig. You know, you've, you've always heard crazy stories about um, fraternities, and this is just another one. So, do I think that the Prime Minister of Great Britain in Scotland and Wales at one time stuck his dick into the mouth of the dead pig? <laughs> well, I, I honestly don't know what to believe. I mean, fraternities do crazy things, and they've been known to have crazy uh, initiation rituals. At the same time, it's an unauthorized biography, and one of the people writing it is some guy who the Prime Minister had a falling out with, you know, one of his enemies. So, how much stock do you really put in something like that? So, you know, for those of you, you know, they're always saying, well, no, I believe it. I absolutely believe that the Prime Minister of Great Britain at one point stuck his dick into a, the head of a dead pig. Well, um, just off topic, are you interested in buying any land? I have some land. I just inherited a um, number of bridges, and I would that I own. I own privately here in the United States, and I'm willing to sell them at just retail prices. So um, there'll be some information if you'd like to buy some land from me. Just let me know. My, my <coughs> the thing. What I wonder about is how do you respond to something like that when they accuse you of, you know, fucking a dead pig in the head? I mean, there's just it, it, there's just no way to do it without making it look like you at one point fucked a dead pig in the head. I mean, um, you get defensive. It's like, this is disgusting. This is an outrage. And people are like, well, he's angry and mad because we found out that he fucked a dead pig in the head. Or, you know, you're like, I will dignify that with a response. You try to take the moral high ground route. That shit's not going to work. They're going to like, he's twisting around. Why? Because he's fucked the dead pig in the head. He laughs it off, eh, that might work. You know, he'd be like, well, how many of you would like to buy some land? I own a bridge. Yeah, I think one of the best routes he could go is because he's got to put up with this for the rest of his political career. You know, like protesters and like, oink, 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 right? Yeah, at one point, I think he just should look at one of these protesters and get a little mad and say, The only pig I fucked was your mother. That'll work for him. The best thing about this whole thing, though, is that. You had a political scandal that involves a politician porking a dead pig, and it wasn't one of ours. <laughs> it, it wasn't a United States politician. I was so happy about that. It's like, finally, they're making fun of someone else. We could, you know, we could say, oh, you elected Donald Trump. Yeah, well, Prime Minister of Great Britain fucked a dead pig. So, who's really messed up? I, I don't want that to happen, but if that does happen, that's what we're going to be saying. It's like, how, how do you think the rest of the world looks at it? Not as bad as Great Britain. <laughs> Bestiality and necrophilia. Rolled into one. They elected that guy. <laughs> Although, you know, maybe somewhere down the line there will be a scandal involving one of our po politicians 
fornicating with a some kind of farm animal. It'll probably be out of Montana when the men are men and the sheep are scared. <laughs>